So, hello and welcome to the Grand Finals match for Grin's Gordome. I'm Caillou, joined with my co-commentator. Hey everyone, it's Zoo. Today we're going to commentate the match between... CFT Sock and Seismic Wands. Yup. CFT Sock is playing four-color Harmonize together, which is this weird, like, aggressive combo mid-range deck, which it has lots of directions that it can go in, but it's generally both uh, turns a fast win and can also be grindy if it needs to. Meanwhile, Seismic is playing blue-red colorless uh, full automation, which is just, I guess, big artifacts. Go big or go home, the deck. Although this is a slightly more mediumer build of mm -hmm. it. Uh... Yeah, where like lots of, the th lots of the threats are reasonably castable. So it has a good fallback plan, even if you don't get to resolve full automation. So turn two, CFT Sock's going to play Fractured Remnant um, that gives him green mana to be able to play a Humble Shepherd. In response, Seismic has a two drop of his own, going to play the Cyber Savant. Generally right here, we would have liked to see a currency from Seismic because that will allow him to ramp into his big plays, which he needs the speed for the CFT Sock. It's pretty much the deck's best turn to play. Yeah. Downloads a Blitz Suit, which again, I think outside of the... F this is one of the cards which doesn't feel very medium auto because outside of the... Um, combo finish with full automation plus a bunch of creatures and this mm -hmm. I think it tends to be middling right although that combo finish is pretty good oh yeah for sure so, so running two copies maybe not the worst idea yep so in the meantime Cito has played a Sporeful Protector and then is going to run out a beautiful crescendo on uh, Seismic's end when Seismic doesn't play anything so this will allow him to tutor up Probably a soul of New Alorius, I'd imagine. Almost certainly, yeah. This is a lot of the power of the deck, is that it is a combo deck that you can use Beautiful Crescendo to find um, two of the pieces of. Mm -hmm. And even when you don't have that third piece, it's still those two harmonized cards together still make a really nice. Yeah, and like if you have um, something like an enthralling actor or a. Uh... I forget the name, something banned, exciting, exciting band, band. Yeah. you can just use um, Beautiful Crescendo to tutor for Art Studio, or for Tam, oh, seems like already has Art Studio. Oh, yeah. Oh my goodness. But who, in response to the Soul uh -oh. of New Lore, Seismic has the Incandescent Rain. Ah, just to deny him tokens, pretty... Uh... Mm -hmm. So cannot this turn uh, use Soul of New Lore's ability? Oh, I'm sorry, make tokens? What am I talking about? Uh, yeah, you mean plus one, plus one counters, but yeah. yeah. But yeah, I'm surprised when Seed Suck already had Art Studio that he didn't go and search for um, an exciting band. But mm -hmm. it might be that since his board was reasonably wide anyways, he decided to go for uh, something else. Right, depending on what he has in hand too, he could have the... Oh, no. And yeah, the Labrec... Oh, no. <laughs> The Lab Wrecker hitting the Soul of New Alora is pretty painful. Still has the Art Studio, though. Right. It does give him outs. Some pretty good outs on this, right? Just and, and like, the searching for the Soul of New Alora makes me think that he might have a Whoopip Chef. Or I guess the thought is he might have already had the Exciting Band or enthra uh, Enthralling Actor in hand, which he's going to run out the Enthralling Actor. Has a second Art Studio... Oh, and this is where things start getting difficult for Seismic. Because he could have untapped next turn, play uh, Witch of Shifting Waters, destroy one of the art studios. Now he's going to have to work a little bit harder for it. Right. So Seed going to draw a card off of the Enthralling Actors Harmonize using Art Studio. Man, Harmonize is such a weird mechanic. It's, it's, one, really of those cool. in, it's one of those mechanics which is unintuitive intuitive if that makes sense where it's like you would you wouldn't like think of it when you when, it, when you're designing designing a mechanic i feel like but once you see it on a card and re, and like walk through an, one like cycle of its interaction you're like oh that's actually surprisingly elegant okay so it's gonna download the blitz suit uh, yeah, that's that makes me feel like seismic doesn't have much else going for him i guess can play it and then swing with the lab record for one more damage to put some hurt on but right now seismic would really like one of his impactful five drops like mecha dragon 
or Shimmering Dunekite, or like a Witch of Shifting Waters. All three of those cards would have been really good in this situation. Right, a lot of high impact fights just that couldn't have happened right now. So Seafstock is thinking about blocks. Interesting. I feel like you'd still want to keep, yeah, and Seafstock just takes the damage, but I feel like you, yeah, there's no reason to take the damage here because both of your creatures are high impact. So, yeah, without Seismic being able to answer these art studios, Seepsaw can just keep digging. And while Seismic has a clock, it's not exactly, like, a fast enough one that Seepsaw yeah. can stabilize here. Nothing to write home about. So now has enough mana to activate art studio and hold up Spore Flow Protector mana if he wants to. Don't know what else he has in hand, though. Mm -hmm. is, is the Graveyard Hate relevant in this matchup? versus seismic i don't believe so i don't like i think if anything you'd exile your own cards from grave because right now seismic doesn't have two but yeah as far as i can recall i don't think seismic has any graveyard recursion and yeah it's just gonna pass with the mana up because this way um if se if seismic plays something then why not just exile the cards from his graveyard uh with right. spore flow and there's one of those five mana big beefy boys here comes shimmering dune kite one mana up as well. Does he have the Witch of Shifting Waters to close this game out? And he does! Does he just like have the interaction? I don't think there's... I think he would have played it already, right? Yeah. I think this is just game one. He can also, I think, use one of the art studios to try to draw a card, draw yeah. into interaction. Yeah, that's what he's doing right now. Cool. Though I don't know what Seepsuck could have main. Does he... Yeah, no. And that's it. Seepsuck conceding. <laughs> For going directly into game two. Yeah. Game one taken by which powerful combo because Witch of Shifting Waters plus a Shimmering Dune Kite generates twenty hasty flying damage. <laughs> the... <laughs> which that's something to write home about. Yeah, for sure. Um the interaction that causes that is a little bit uh complex slash weird, so I don't think we need to get into it, but that's basically the bottom line of how those two cards interact. If anyone has any questions about that, Fennel's in the chat right now. Bother him, okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Seepstock opening up with a Spore Flow Protector and Seismic responding back once again with the turn two Cyber Savant. So Seepstock, um, wait, so this is is this this is best of five, right? So they, and there's no sideboarding between Correct. games one and two. Yeah, you, you saw that they went immediately from game yeah. one to game two. So Seepsock couldn't have gone more aggro here because I know that sometimes he likes to bring in the Essence Scatters plus the Scion of Sanurias and just kind of mm -hmm. like run out a, a card turn two and then Scion of Sanuria turn three and then just hold up Essence Scatters for the rest of the game while putting on the beats with Scion. Right. Um, that real fast yeah. clock. Yeah. Still... Three damage, turn three isn't bad. Whoop Chef germinating onto the Spore Flow Protector. So he's not going to have that crazy fast clock to rely on here, but can still uh, force Seismic to have it early or basically not get the chance to have it at all. Right. That's a really nice thing about being this kind of like token based combo deck mm -hmm. is that it often means you can just generate a board that. And Seismic, without a turn three play, just going to download the Liminal Observer that was uploaded off of the Cyber Savant. And Seepsuck, once again, just going to swing in with the Spore Flow. Does he not have a third lap? Seepsuck does not have a third land drop. Oh, that's a problem. What, might does have, he might have might... any sort of like uh, card selection that would help him out in this? He game? might have a beautiful crescendo on end step search art studio. Mm, that's, that's, oh, yeah, that's, that's cool. Mm -hmm. And so Seismic's going to play Liminal Observer, swing in with the Cyber Savant. On end, though, it seems like Seepsuck's just going to crack the Vibrant uh, locale. So it so, definitely doesn't have that tutor. Yeah, and I think that cracking the Vibrant Locale may actually be slightly worse, unless he need he needs a color. But I guess the thought is, like, you want to have more lands in library to be able to have more to draw. Mm -hmm. Even slightly. Very, very, very slightly, right. Seepsaw can no longer put on the beats with uh, the Spore Flow, because Liminal blocks it. But I guess it did need that blue and top deck the Forest for the Enthralling Actor. Okay, this is looking a lot better now. Uh, yeah, yeah. The question is though, um, can like Seepsuck convert this enthralling actor draw into anything? Because he still needs to keep hitting land drops and drawing relevant cards, while Seismic right. is drawing two each turn. 
And as soon as Seismic hits one more land, he can start dropping must answer five drops. As soon as he hits mm-hmm. six lands, uh, full automation plus Witch Kite are online. Right. The Witch Kite combo is on. But notably, we see if T Sock can combo off with only four lands. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. So it looks like we might see one of those high impact five drops right here. Yup, Shimmering Dune Kite. Uh huh. Just uh, put on the pressure. Yeah, I, cool. I mean, yeah, why not? Just, and I think, yeah, swing in with the Liminal and the Dune Kite. And even if Seepsuck chooses to double block the Liminal, which it looks like, or just single, yeah, it's going to double block the Liminal, you just kill. Mm-hmm. I think, do you kill Chef for Spore Flow? Interesting. I think you might kill Chef, I think, I- ironically. I think you call the Chef. You're not really at risk of being, like, raced super hard, I don't think. Yeah, Seismic is going to kill the Spore Flow, though. Oh, okay. I think, I think the Spore Flow is, like, the intuitively right choice, because you always mm-hmm. you always want to kill the bigger creature. So Seep Sucks has a full clutch right now. I'm trying to think about what he could have in hand right now that would cause this kind of going in the tank. Right, because I feel like you, if you have any of your sorts of, like, enchant, I feel like you just play them out, right? It's not particularly risky to do that against Seismic Lawns' deck. It might just be, like, sequencing questions. Like, do I play this Humble Shepherd now, or do I play something that is more, like, board impactful? Right. I, I feel like if you're missing land jobs, you ha- like, you have to prioritize just doing stuff um, that helps you get more mana, right? Mm-hmm. Does CFT Sox deck have anything that can block this Dune Kite? In main? Um, yes. Not that I remember. Like... I think his deck is very ground focused. Something that does, that could provide an answer though to the Dune Kite is the Exciting Band. Yeah, the Exciting Band for sure, so, but then needs two more lands and the color fixing. Yeah, and that's why I think you really just have to prioritize like getting out, getting out lands if you can. I mean, maybe this is just intensely obvious and. and oh, played a tropical channel. And is gonna wrap oh. the soul of New Alores. That okay? Yeah, sure. Huh. So threatens a win next turn. Yeah, potentially if Se- Seismic doesn't have the interaction here. Also on it, um, can also uh, threaten to block something on the ground and then buff the enthralling actor to a four four, or just on end buff the enthralling actor up into a four four. But <laughs> Seismic has one of those fun interaction five drops. There we go. Eon Overwatch, oh, Bounce the Soul of New Oloris. Oh, and he gets a hasty copy because of the Dune Kite. I forgot. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's value. This is punishing. Yeah, my God. Especially if CFC Sock was looking to combo off like fairly quickly. The um, can't cast spells with the same name as that effect from the Eon Overwatch is puts a complete damper on that plan. Mm-hmm. Seepsuck thinking about whether or not he wants to... I think... So, the question is, I think you kind of have to decide which one do you want more? And then, ironically, I think you put the counters on the other one because you want to make it more of a choice where it's like, do I... Oh, no, it, it's not going to... Hmm. Isn't well, actually... He could just draw a card. Oh, strange. Yeah, not... Oh, yeah, I could have just drawn a card there. Yeah, not doing anything in response to that Soul of New Alores... Being bound seems like a bad look. Mm-hmm. Okay, he's going to swing in for a massive 10. Threatens to yeah. kill CFT Sock next turn, and I'm not sure what CFT Sock can do about this because he doesn't have the mana to combo off next turn. Well, and he can't cast some of his combo spells anyways. Mm-hmm. And does CFT Sock have any sort of way to get back on board? Like, no wraths, right? Not that I know of, no. Like, the closest equivalent is Exciting Band immediately harmonized, but again, doesn't have... The resources for that right because um is exciting band double no no that's why you need the second harmonize is what i was saying no i meant like is it even castable even if uh he top decks a single oh no because it's yeah because it's five mana just seems like does not have absolutely does not have the resources does seems like have any wander the unknowns in main no then yeah i think this matchup is pretty much unwinnable you mean uh pretty bored well, rejoicing aristocrats does help him for a turn. Oh, or I think I mean I mean right now, not not like the matchup in general. Um, but again, oh I see. What you mean. Basically, any if seismic has any creature, he wins outright. 
And yeah, that'll do it. Second Shimmering Dune Kite. So we're going to game three. Seismic up 2-0, but will the sideboards change anything? Let's yeah, take the, a look at them the sideboard real quick. It's going to have to be like super impactful for see if these saga to come back from. I mean, but we were talking before the game started that that seems like it could actually be the case. Yup, like looking at the sideboard here, <laughs> um, Rejoicing Aristocrats goes kind of hard versus um, Seismic's almost entirely uh, artifact deck. Wander the Unknown is a, is great for stopping uh, Shimmering Dune Kite. Essence Scatter is great for stopping Labrecker and Shimmering Dune Kite. Um, and Sire Empires just puts on a clock. Mm-hmm. I think probably is going to bring in Essence Scatter, Wander the Unknown, and some number of Aristocrats is my call. What do you think? I think that makes sense. Yeah. Um, something that's also notable is... If he's trying to look to like race the like I, I'm just going to combo before you combo. Mm-hmm. I feel like the the burn spells there, the what are they called? Hired hits mm-hmm. could also be kind of interesting because those do snipe the dragon. Mm, for sure. Um, they don't help you avoid um, the lab wrecker ETB. So if that's like a primary concern, you could see focusing more on those counter spells. Mm-hmm. And I think you probably take out, like, Spore Flow Protector and, like, I think the Festival Songstresses, Seepsaka said that he's notably low on. So I think those are probably the cards that are going to come out in some capacity. Mm-hmm. Okay, on Seismic's end, um, I think you bring in two more Lab Wreckers because, God, that card is insane in this matchup. Oh, yeah. um, Eradicator Engine doesn't do great versus a Tokens deck. Incandescent Rain is one of the only things that can stop Harmonize together, so I think you bring mm-hmm. in two of those as well. And then he has a big interaction suite, and I'm not sure which of those Seismic will decide to land on. Mm-hmm. Do you think he could bring in more Stand Warps to protect himself from the likely counter spells coming in from CFD Sox board? Honestly, yeah. That might actually be a good call. So Sand Warp, Lab Wrecker, Incandescent Rain... And probably out, I think you probably also take out your low drops, like Cyber mm-hmm. Savant. Um, and I think Blitzsuit is not maybe not where you want to be in this matchup. I don't think it's where mm-hmm. you want to be in any matchup. Like, <laughs> But it, it, like, it's good when you get there. But otherwise, I think if you want to like play like, if you want to play mm-hmm. not to the best possible outcome, then I, and like you want to, yeah, then it, you just side it out for some of this. So the match has begun. So let's get back in there. For sure. Or the game, I mean. So game three, Seepstock opening up with Protect the Farm. This is one of the g- good, like, fair rebuilding pieces CFT Sock has. Mm. Um, and it allows you to just generate insane amounts of tokens, especially with Travel Together and Fetch Lands. Seismic, though, for the Ooh. first time in these games, has a turn two currency. That is big. Yeah. So this will allow him to ramp out turn five threats um, next turn and turn six threats turn four so emphatically not under anything any interactions you suck may have but it forces you suck to have them now rather than giving him a a little bit of room to draw into them or like play like let's say an enthralling actor and then draw into them also i forgot yeah this is the one good use for a blitz suit you can sacrifice it to currency (laughs) it's like it's like the pitch it to force a will i was literally thinking exactly that the, this is the custom standard version of pitches to force of will. <laughs> so I think Seepsox hmm. probably deliberating over whether or not to hold up interaction here or to just play something out. Is he trying to think of like what ends up getting most punished by like an Eon Overwatch, for example? I mean, Seismic doesn't have any sea sources right now, though, so... Mm-hmm. I'd probably be expecting a Lab Wrecker, most likely. Lab Wrecker or, Sh- or Mecha Dragon slash Shimmering Dune Kite could... Mecha Dragon is probably the most annoying. But is going to tap out and, like, yeah, Enthralling Actor. So it's going to assume that he won't need the interaction next turn in the hopes for drawing into another one. Mm-hmm. And does get the soldier off the land drop, so has reasonable board presence to Seismic's none. Right. 
But it's like this protect the farm is only really going to go the distance if this game doesn't like immediately end with some sort of, you know, high impact play by Seismic Hero on the next turn. Yeah, I think Steve Sock tapping out pro lets me or like makes me feel that he has interaction in hand, but also what the heck Seismic is just going to pass? Oh? Hmm. He just got nothing. Or maybe he's waiting, like, he, he wants to try and witch kite next turn, but that also doesn't feel like... I don't know. He might have the anti counterspell land in hand and is ready for that to be six mana source go. Oh, yeah. That could definitely be it. Meanwhile, Seep Suck's going to swing in for three with the enthralling actor plus the soldier. I think, in all, yeah, I think if this goes long, see if he is likely winning, because these double mana confluences from Seismic mm -hmm. are going to hurt... And see if Seasuck can go so wide that even with Seismic's like pretty large void. But also notably, see if Seasuck missed a land drop again. Oh boy. And ugh, on end step, Seismic has the incandescent rain is going to kill Seasuck's only two threats. That I guess was holding that up in the hopes that Seasuck would like play a land for another target, but mm -hmm. just didn't have it. And can you show the rain for the audience? Yeah, sure. Um. It's probably one of the more interesting wipes we have in the format, being it's the only instant speed one. Speaking of instant speed, I think that Seismic passing here is a pretty clear signal that he has full automation. Right, yeah. This is going to be brutal. And Safety Sock's going to play out another enthralling actor, getting those draws in, but doesn't have that fourth land drop. Wait, in response? <laughs> the hard cast sand warp on the... Okay, wait. Maybe Seismic is playing out all this interaction because he actually doesn't have anything. And is just he has all interaction but no actual gas and is just trying to wait to draw into gas. Like, well, I, I, I guess I'm a control deck now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Limnal Observer? Limnal yeah, Observer. Double sea source now. This is probably the saddest currency I've ever seen. <laughs> but I guess yeah, it's he'll a... He'll draw some cards eventually. It, yeah. Meanwhile, Seep Sock is like, you know what? I'd trade my kingdom for a land. <laughs> Why protect the farm when there's no farm to protect? Mm -hmm. The soldiers are on strike. Oh my god. We're not going to work in these unsafe working conditions. You see that, you see that giant construct sitting on the other side of the battlefield? <laughs> They're like, we're going to defect it. That, that, that guy's got treasure? He can actually pay us? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, but Cetusak does have the Ascending Spires plus the Woopip Chef. So gets we'll get another uh, token off the Ascending Spires when he cracks it on end. So mm -hmm. if Seismic attacks in, we'll likely just lose the Liminal Observer if Cetusak blocks with everything. Right. I, I just I don't see any reason for him to even do that, basically. Yeah, like you just hold up, you just treat Liminal Observer as... I will draw an extra card each turn. Why do I need to put a, a clock on you when what I've already got is so good? Right. And, and when he's also on a kind of a clock on his own lands. Oh, and here oh, we, yep, we go. the essence scatter yeah. coming in clutch. But oh my god, oh. the sideboard spell pierce? Oh. He brought in spell pierce? I did not expect that. Yeah, what? I That's crazy. Oh gosh. This and is... actually, oh, I think this oh. is a mistake by Seismic. Gonna shoot the tropical channel, but not the ascending spires. Because the Ascending Spires can get you another Tropical Channel. And since it's mm -hmm. tapped now, uh, Seepsock can't crack it in response. And letting Seepsock keep that means that Seepsock has another Protect the Farm trigger. I guess the thought is it leaves Seepsock on only white mana for his next turn. Right, but... it's like slower. And yeah, even though Seismic is definitely at the life deficit, it feels like Seepsock is solidly <laughs> behind right now. Just because, mm -hmm. like, God, Seismic can just keep dropping must answer threat after must answer threat, and Seep to Sock just does not have that density of answers. His right. his plan is I'm gonna combo the heck off, but when you right. when you miss your land drops again and again, uh, th that's another thing I think that's notable about this matchup is that Witch Kite is a combo that happens like the turn you play it, mm -hmm. um, whereas you do need one extra turn to win with. Um, harmonize together combo yep 
And also, going independent tokens doesn't stop you from dying the witch kite because it's all. Mm-hmm. And then, another thing is, if they have, um... oh, it's gonna beautiful crescendo. Probably search for an art studio here, and then start yeah. pumping out tokens with the whoopip chef. But yeah, and also incandescent rain can put you off by another turn. Um, right, right, right. If you play your pieces out of order, they can get lab record. And I yep, wonder if the, the art is thinking that he does actually try to go for the just fair damage win. The seismic is sitting on nine life. And if like, yeah, if Seafdustock like, hits two wide. more lands in a row, could could very well just protect the farm and win that way. Right. Yeah. Sack the farm. We are done protecting this farm. <laughs> <laughs> now the farm will protect us. <laughs> Sacrifice protect the farm. Put th three plus one plus one counters and target land you control. <laughs> so I Seismic is just going to swing for the fences here, which is... Okay, this signals to me that si that like Seismic has um, another incandescent rain. And he's trying to bait Safety Sock into like... I don't know. He he's just trying to bait Safety Sock into like using ascending spires, I think, before end of turn. You think so? What is he? Uh, what is he think that Safety Sock would do instead of cracking it? I mean, like I I think the the main thing is you you could have he like he could have just uh played uh the incandescent rain main, mm -hmm. um and got in f and got in for three right, damage, okay. yeah. And there's the incandescent rain, just gonna kill all of safety sock stuff and get in for three, uh, one damage. Oh, I see what you're saying. Now that he's been forced to do it now, then safety sock can block the two from the limbo observer. I was gonna say crack on the end step. And oh yeah, crack spires on instead. End up with actually a board state instead of none. And wow, it's <laughs> oh, Ugh. hi lab wrecker. Oh my goodness me. And Seafstock does not have, yeah, does not have blue mana. He's just gonna shoot the art studio. God, this mana denial is painful. And seems like has these. Of, uh, as a player of big blue, I can't get like too critical of other people doing mana denial. Mm -hmm. But uh, <laughs> see, Lab Wrecker one, it's it's fine. Lab Wrecker two and beyond, you're like, damn. And now Safety Sock. Uh, has, I don't think is not going to be able to crack this protect the farm anytime soon. Uh, enthralling actor, is that that's enthralling actor? Is that enthralling actor number three? That is enthralling actor number three, and hits ooh hits another fetch land. So has these land blockers. Oh. Did see, did Seismic forget to draw off liminal observer? Oh, which on lab wrecker, it's la it's number three baby. So then you just copy Lab Wrecker, shoot, yeah, shoot the Lakeside Park. Yeah, it's not ideal. I think at this point you probably double block the Lab Wrecker to kill it. Mm -hmm. um, just because, or maybe you double block the Liminal Observer and hope you can run Seismic out of cards. So Se Seismic realizes that and is not going to attack with the Liminal Observer. <laughs> it's just going to swing with the Lab Wrecker. And Seafstock's like going to take it. <sighs> yeah, the worry is if Seismic has like another Witch here, and just in spirits or just hard casts it or in spirits it onto the limnal. It's just like, well, mm -hmm. and yeah, on end, seems like just going to crack the fetch land, up the soldier count a little bit. That plan of uh, sacking to protect the farm is feeling further and further in what way. Mm -hmm. If Seepsock hits another art studio here, though, could do. Could, like, start generating advantage with the enthralling actor. Might be able to start fighting back. I think he just gets attacked down faster at this point. Yeah, but I think my thought was you use the soldiers as chumpers and then you can try and draw into um, the combo finish. Mm, that makes sense. So he's going to have the humble shepherd, mana dorks ahoy. So Never can't be destroyed by the lab. Yup, notably. So Seepsock is valiantly fighting back against this resource denial. Oh no, but that's four mana. No! Oh my god. This is, this is disgusting. Oh no. Okay. So Safety Sock's down to two lot. lands. Oh god. He's gonna swing in with the with the witch. Um and yes, yeah, Safety can't block this witch. Or I guess he can chump the witch. But if he just if he tries to kill the witch, then Lab Wrecker just comes back. 
Well, he's left with basics though, so those can't be just. Oh yeah, I for. Oh yeah, I forgot. That's a thing that. That Labrecker isn't just destroy target land. Never mind. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Seep Sox is still gonna just take the damage. I think the thought is just maintain board presence until absolutely necessary. Notably, though, does another incandescent rain just kill Safety Sock? Um, no, not not quite, not quite. Or doesn't it? Because Seismic will swing with uh, four two twos, eight damage. Remember that it's incandescent rain also gives them minus one minus one until end of turn. That's what no, it I'm deals saying, one damage. Oh no, it deals one damage. I'm stupid. No, yeah, it it's just damage. Never mind. Yeah, no, that that would be game. Another incandescent rain would be game. But Seismic is down to one card in hand. With, Seems with like has a playable. Uh, oh my god, beautiful crescendo! He can search a Bard Studio! And Seismic does not have the spell pierce for this. Oh my god. And yeah, gets another okay, soldier token. Okay. And can now... Oh, can't Enthralling Actor this turn, though. Or, uh, no, we can we with can Humble Shepherd. Uh, Shep yeah. Oh my god, this is called getting there. CT Sock is, is holding on, dude. Hope, hope beyond hope. Mm -hmm. Believe in the me that believes in you. Uh, but with CFT sets luck so far, there's one land and or one card in hand, and Seismic is going to end up being a find of a lifetime. <laughs> oh no no no! It's actually another witch. Oh. Uh, yes. And yeah, drawing and drawing two more cards ugh, off of uh, or one more card off of the Liminal Observer for turn. Right. And Seismic can at at some point. Oh my yeah. God! No, I cursed it into existence. Oh. I just uh, I don't know I don't like doing this but like uh, never mind. Well, were you about to say? Well, good well, game. Good lab wrecker is being changed in the next update, but it actually does not technically stop this. Oh no! When it leaves the battlefield, you, you put it into you shuffle into your library. I think well, right. It does, it, you still clone it, right? That's the most important thing here. Is just that it's being cloned. Yeah, for sure. It, it's the, I think the lab wrecker is sometimes a scary card, but I think. In this greedy meta, it does make sense. Also, Seep, Seep, okay, uh, Seep Suck notably not using Art Studio with Enthralling Actor. But does he have beautiful... Oh no, has Wander the Unknown. And that's why he held... That's why he uh, added one colorless. Uh, uh, and can now stop the Limnal Observer. Oh no. Seismic's tapping. Does he have a counter spell? Oh no, he's going to sack it to Currency in response. That's really smart. Uh, so he gets to draw one card off of it. Yeah, finally using that last uh, mode of turn. Mm -hmm. And also, um, if Seismic, even if Seismic doesn't draw any more gas, can start using Royal Domains to generate treasure tokens so he doesn't have to ping down his life total with these mana confluences. But yeah, Seismic also has hit, like we, we haven't been talking about it because he's been hitting like these crazy lab wrecker plus a witch strings, mm -hmm. but... I would say that Seismic has also been having his own uh, share of like bad luck in that he oh. has not hit any of his flying threats. And that's allowed mm. Seepsock to gum up the board and could potentially come back to take this. Right, right. If he, if he had drawn at least one of them so far, he would have probably been able to win already. Mm -hmm. Like the Wander the Unknown was from Seepsock was fine, but I think it's not like Seepsock had the opportunity to play it earlier, if that makes sense. He was always kind of on the back foot playing mm. on his turn. Oh yeah, also notably, um, like I, the thing that I mentioned earlier about Royal Domain can also convert those pedal tokens into card draw with currency. Okay, he's going to tap Humble Shepherd oh, number one for Shepherd. another Humble Shepherd. And that's more mana. That's more fixing. It's not a land, but it's the closest other thing that CPSOC can get. Mm -hmm. And oh no, seismic tapping everything. Is this a full automation? Oh no. Oh no, never mind. <laughs> False alarm. It's just a pedal. <laughs> oh, we were baited so hard. Phew. Okay. Notable actually notably is that Seismic is now in range of double hired hit, like hilariously enough. So oh, if, wow. So if Safety Sock just like happens to have both hired hits, can Humble Shepherd and then shoot Seismic right. in the face and just win? That would be intensely amazing. Uh huh. Also, even if he has a single hired hit, um, Safety Sock does have enough creatures on board to swing in. Oh, that's true. Seismic has to block um, the Humble yeah, Shepherds, Shepherds plus the uh, plus the actor, 
See if Tisaw gets four in damage. four damage, and then wow. see if Tisaw can finish off with the, uh, yeah. So yeah, we just depends on if see if Tisaw decided to bring those in from the. Mm -hmm. Alternatively, if Seismic Wand actually is just you know a master of patience, and it is still holding up a full auto. Mm -hmm. that, that plan could go very 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 and i mean could also um crack the pedal and then try to draw into something mm -hmm. i'm not sure what else at instant speed yeah could draw into instant speed incandescent rain yeah and okay whoop chef from safety sock notably this does mean the next turn um safety sock can just swing with everything and kill seismic mm -hmm. this is enough yeah and this is also means um a lot closer to doing something some sort of harmony combo mm -hmm. oh it's gonna buff up the sheep that is a smart play because now the sheep is another relevant attacker hmm. no wait actually could have just created a sapling. i don't know what i'm talking about yeah, i could have just created a sapling oh okay. sw oh wait no but it gets to swing with everything yeah okay. oh god go. full automation all right, let's see what this pulls, I guess. Oh, in game three, we get the titular card. Liminal Observer, is that it? Four blockers. That's still four damage. That's four damage coming. Yes, and Seedsock wow. surviving on the one. Oh, my God. Actually, yeah, that would have been lethal because yeah. because the sheep was, was quote-unquote hasty. Mm -hmm. Smart. Oh, I'm sorry. What? A huh? Red source. Oh yeah, that's a red source, but does not have the higher hit. Or, or does like is he waiting for a better? No, option? there's no way he would wait. He would like while Seismic was tapped out, he would just higher hit before Seismic could draw into counter magic or untap. Oh him. no! No incandescent rain. No, see if Tisak got so close, so close. It was one turn away. And then Se Se Seismic had the, the, tr the third... Was it the third Incandescent Rain? I believe so. Oh my god. Yeah. Like, Seepsock's deck, Seep deck is resilient, but... Man, it's not resilient enough to deal with, like... Six of your lands being destroyed and then getting wiped three times. Right. <laughs> but, Good games. Good games. Yeah, that and Seismic really, really takes well it fought. three... Oh. Yeah. Really oh. Hard fought by CFT Sock. yeah. And I think, like... Even though Seep Sucks deck, we didn't get to see it like combo off or pop off as well as I would have liked for a grand finals. Like he's like he's done some crazy stuff in the rest of this tournament, and his deck has like he would not have gotten this far if his deck was not like crazy good and his play was not crazy tight. <laughs>